So a few days ago, OpenAI's O3 model did very well in a coding challenge. I think it's now ranked top 50 in the world. Anyway, they released their paper showing how they did it. And the interesting thing is that the way they trained the model is not specific to coding. It was a generalized O3 model that did very well. And they called out that the reinforcement learning that they used to make a model generally good at coding so it could accomplish a particular code forces challenge is something that could be applied in other business contexts. Basically, anywhere in business or in other spheres in life where you could actually have a true or false response to a model, either the model got the answer right or the model got the answer wrong, you had the opportunity through this reinforcement learning technique to make the model more effective. And so if you think about reinforcement learning as a way of giving structured and verifiable rewards for business tasks, this paper from OpenAI unlocks a lot of other pieces. For example, you could look at investment portfolio optimization. That might not seem like it's binary, but you can very clearly tell when something is a correct portfolio versus a portfolio that is under-optimized or under-diversified. Sales funnel optimization and lead scoring. You can clearly tell when a lead is scored incorrectly or not, and you can measure it over time by deal propensity to close. In financial forecasting or in loan underwriting, you can see if the loan goes bad or not, and you can see if the underwriting was correct or not, and then you can start to optimize accordingly over time. Supply chain logistics. You can look at KPIs like routing, warehousing, inventory replenishment, and see if you made the optimal decision. Ad bidding optimization and marketing, similarly. Basically, anywhere in business where you can say this was done correctly or this was done incorrectly, reinforcement learning can enable you to build a model or train a model or fine tune a model so that you can effectively use AI to accomplish that task. And I'm not saying that you should take that and go out tomorrow and fine tune a model and it will be as good as O3 is. But I am saying if you look ahead six months, if you look at where models are going, think of these domains as being domains that models can learn quickly and that they are likely to learn quickly as they become more intelligent. In other words, what OpenAI's paper showed is the areas in business where models can do useful work and are likely to start doing useful work in the near term. And I think that's a really important insight. Cheers.